So what is happening, man? It's crazy times, right? Man, all this epidemic stuff. But anyway, how do you walk in the spirit in all this craziness? Well, in this video, I'm gonna talk about exactly just that. Intro. Before we get into all this goodness, let's go to Galatians 5. I say then, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary to one another. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. So how do you walk in the spirit? Basically, the Lord showed me it this way. So we got two things. We got the flesh and then we got the spirit. First, we need to understand this, that we are a spirit being. We are not this housing unit in the flesh. We may have a flesh, we have, may have a face, a flesh, but we in and of ourselves are a spirit. Let's just take a funeral for example. So at a funeral, you have this person who has died. Where are they? You know, their flesh is there, but where are they at? They're not talking. Well, that's because their spirit has left their body. When their spirit leaves the body, the body dies because a spirit is what gives life to that body. When God created Adam, he made his flesh from the dust of the earth. He made Adam. But then Adam did not become a living being until God breathed into Adam because breath means pneuma, which also means spirit. When God breathed the spirit into Adam, Adam became a living being. So without the spirit, the body is dead. And so the spirit is who we really are. So when Jesus died on the cross, he did not die to save your flesh, he died to save your spirit. So your spirit is who you really are. So he died to save you, which is a spirit being. And so in our spirit, we're made holy, righteous, redeemed. We are made in the image of God. We've been born again. The old is gone. The new has come. But our flesh is the same. It's the same old flesh that was with us when we were dead and we didn't accept Jesus. And so that flesh is just a fallen nature. So it's not good to walk by the desires of the flesh because all it knows is wickedness. You know, it talks about this in Romans 7 and Romans 8, if you want to really read furthermore on this. But right now, let's just stick to the simplicity of it. The flesh is just your carnal desires. If we walk by the Spirit, it's life and peace. And so if we walk by the Spirit, we also walk by truth and we walk in victory because we are holy, we're righteous, we're redeemed, we're completely made brand new. And our spirit is not bound to sin, none of that. Our spirit has been set free from sin and this is actually how God identifies you. He doesn't identify you by your flesh because like I said in the funeral, that when our flesh dies, that's just a part of the earth. That's not who we are. Our spirit goes to be with the Lord. When God looks at you, he identifies you by your spirit. He does not identify you according to the deeds done in the flesh or the sinful flesh. He identifies you by your born again spirit because that is who you really are. So to live by the spirit is to live by the who you really are. And I know we have this flesh to contend and to deal with, but God says in the scripture, to deny your flesh and pick up your cross and follow me. Now, is it always there? Are we always gonna be sinning in our flesh? Absolutely. But we don't identify by sin. We don't identify by the flesh. We identify by who God says we are in our spirit being, because we are spirits. So I hope you found this pretty helpful. I know it's kind of a lot, but anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment below if this really touched you or you got something to say about it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.